Hello and welcome to this history tutorial on Francis Drake and the role he played in the decline in the Anglo-Spanish relationship. This is for Edexcel GCSE History Elizabethan England. Today we will cover the activities of Francis Drake and how these influenced Anglo-Spanish relations. Francis Drake was an English merchant who made his name and fortune trading in the New World. He also made huge sums of money for people who invested in his voyages, including Elizabeth I. However, much of what he did could be considered piracy. In 1572, Elizabeth hired Drake as a privateer. Drake went to Panama where he captured £40,000 of Spanish silver. However, Elizabeth's decision to back him was risky as it could have provoked conflict with Spain. This was only avoided because in 1573, when Drake returned to England, both Philip II and Elizabeth were trying to improve Anglo-Spanish relations. In 1577, Drake again set off for the New World. Elizabeth I's official plan was for him to sail around the tip of South America to its Pacific coastline. He was to bring gold, silver, spices and any other valuables back to England. Elizabeth also gave him secret orders to attack Spanish colonies in the New World. By 1577, Anglo-Spanish relations were again getting worse and there were more fears of Spanish invasion. Elizabeth wanted to enrich England and disrupt Spain's trade with its colonies. Drake's 1577-80 voyage became very famous because his actual route home led him to circumnavigate the globe. He was the first Englishman to do so. This was a major achievement as long sea voyages were exceptionally dangerous. Once in the Pacific, Drake successfully plundered Spanish ports and ships along the coastline of Chile and Peru. He also claimed a region of California in Elizabeth's name, calling it Nova Albion. It is estimated that when Drake returned to England in 1580, he brought £400,000 of Spanish treasure with him. Elizabeth was so impressed by his achievements that she knighted him on the deck of the Golden Hind. Philip II was outraged by this public display. To him, Sir Francis Drake was nothing more than a pirate. Drake's actions against Spain and her colonies, along with his claim to land in California, made it clear that England did not accept Spain's domination in the Americas. Only one other sailor had circumnavigated the globe, so Drake's success gave England a national hero and showed England's strength. Drake boosted the Crown's finances at a time of growing concern over Spain's threat to England. Elizabeth's public knighting of Drake also sent a strong message of defiance to Spain. In 1585, Elizabeth sent Sir Francis Drake to raid Spanish settlements in the New World to disrupt Philip II's flow of resources and finance. However, this has only succeeded in angering him further. Philip told the Pope he intended to invade England at the end of 1585. In summary, Francis Drake played a key role in the decline of Anglo-Spanish relations. He was an English merchant who made his fortune in the New World, but much of what Drake did could be considered piracy, as he attacked Spanish colonies and shipping. The actions of Drake against Spain and her territories in the New World boosted England's finances and strength at the expense of Spain. Elizabeth publicly knighted Drake and this sent a message of defiance to Spain and showed that she supported his actions, which led to a further decline in Anglo-Spanish relations. Drake's raid of the New World in 1585 was directly linked to Philip's decision to invade England. To get further help, visit history.outward.com See your teacher in school or check out quiz.outward.com for those sweet revision quizzes. You can also follow the Outward Humanities team on Twitter at OGAT Humanities. Until next time, that was a little bit of history.